Welcome to our conversation on building better business in Jamaica. I'm Kiki, and it gives me great pleasure being your host uh, for this podcast. So to start things off, in March 2024, the Ministry of Industry, Investment and Commerce collaborated with Jamper and the PIOJ, um, uh, along with their partners, the Foundations for Competitiveness for Growth, and launched a campaign. This campaign is geared towards building better businesses in Jamaica, and the campaign is called Building Better Business Together. This, of course, is an is an effort um, to ensure that businesses grow and take uh, advantage of all the various opportunities that exist for them in various markets and areas of business. So as always, the discussions delve into, at first, uh, how it is that the developments are transforming the Jamaica business landscape. So every week we've been speaking with guests who are very knowledgeable and have all the insight that will guide business owners on how to move their business, not only into the Jamaican uh, landscape, but also to into international and overseas markets. So joining us today, the conversation will continue as we are going to be speaking about accessing services, our productive input relief as well um, through the Jamaica Business Gateway. And joining us on set, we have Ms. Tamar Henry representing the Ministry of Tourism, as well as Mr. O'Shane Williams representing the Cannabis Licensing Authority. Welcome. Thank this you. It's going to be a fun conversation. Um, so to start things off uh, with you, uh, Tamar, as well as O'Shane, you can both uh, jump in on this. But can you just explain a little bit on what the services um, of the Ministry of Tourism are as far as it relates to what you offer to your clients? Sure. So the Ministry of Tourism has a myriad of services that we offer, not just with the ministry, but with its public bodies. Two such services within the ministry itself are incentives and concessions. Now, within the tourism sector, we have three subsectors, the accommodations, attractions, and ground transportation, which is actually divided into two, the contract carriage and the car rentals. We also have within our public bodies, TPD code, they offer licenses for persons to be able to be in line and compliance with the legislation for, so that they can be a compliant and licensed entity within the sector. Got it. And Shane, the same for you for CLA. So the Cannabis Licensing Authority is an agency under MIC that regulates Jamaica's green gold, which is cannabis. Um, we issue licenses for the cultivation processing, retail, research and development, and transportation of ganja in Jamaica, of cannabis in Jamaica. Uh, you mentioned that. Is there, a, is there a legally, you know, like, like acceptable term? Is it ganja? Is it cannabis? Is there, you know, any obscurity where that's concerned? Well, cannabis is the broad term, and cannabis includes ganja and hemp. Mm -hmm. Now, ganja is anything that has 1% or more THC, right. and hemp is less than 1% THC. So both are acceptable terms within the broad umbrella of what is called cannabis. Got it. No problem. Thank you. Um, and as it relates to the um, Jamaica Business Gateway, I'd like you both to kind of um, explain a little bit more on how the Ministry of Tourism and the CLA um, can, you know, provide access and services um, through the Jamaica Business Gateway that will benefit uh, your clients moving forward. Okay. Um, well, our applications for our incentives and concessions are heavily paper-based and that is due to the fact that there are some external agencies that our stakeholders will have to get involved with and get certain paperwork and so being able to transition to the Jamaica Business Gateway is a great move at this point because it allows our stakeholders to not have to worry about finding originals or being able to um, search all over for the different type of paperwork they can just have them get them in soft copy and upload them to the business gateway and then have them sent to us to be able to process for our applications and so being able to move that aspect of the subsectors is something that will prove beneficial for them because it is a faster process it does not involve you know paper getting missing or lost and it is also easier in facilitating communication between us and the stakeholders as well and in your words just define what the jamaica business gateway is for the listeners it is the online platform that eases the necessity of communication and application between us as the ministry and its public bodies and you our stakeholders got it and Shane, the same question for you uh, how is the you know access and service going to benefit um your clients i, I don't want to borrow my friends the same easy communication very similar um our process is also very heavily paper-based and the business gateway being something that can reduce redundancies 
that has enhanced customer support that can simplify the application process. You can imagine someone is applying for a cannabis license and this person lives in all in West Maland. They would have to drive to the authority prior to the launch of the business gateway, but know that they can do this online. So that is very much the essence of the, the portal today. And we believe that that will certainly not only simplify the process, but also save our stakeholders some money because we're government agencies have yeah. to communicate have to and collaborate, right? Collaborate. If someone needs a document from the Ministry of Justice, let's say, ordinarily, they'd have to go there. Now with this platform, we can set up an API between mm -hmm. the both agencies and that single application to us also goes to them. At the same. So it, mm -hmm. it's and really a good like, thing. Applications are available on the JB, uh, um, G, Jamaica Business Gateway, so all applications are available. Yes, for us, in terms of the licensing process, every application is online. Okay. Yes, and for our subsectors as well, all the different applications are accessible on the Jamaica Business Gateway. All right, Tamara, so I want to divert to you um, in terms of just giving us some clarity on the productive input relief um, through, of course, the Jamaica Business Gateway. Just explain what that is and what the benefits might be. Okay, so under, well, it's under various ministries, actually. So between the Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Tourism, as well as Jamaica Customs Agency and the Tax Administration of Jamaica, we have what we call the Product Input Relief Listing. Now, what that does is when somebody is applying for incentives, there are a list of items that they can receive waivers on in terms of the duty fees that may apply. So having access to the incentives through the Jamaica Business Gateway allows them to be able to also have access to the listing. And it facilitates persons being able to bring in the items that they need to be able to enhance their business and be able to even open their business in a more timely manner. Because one of the things that I think we also find is because of the delays, whether it is in communication or shipping or those things are just not being sure or having the knowledge to know what it is that you can or cannot bring, it also impedes the process. So being having access to that listing on the gateway will facilitate faster business and being able for the business owners to open quicker and in a more timely manner. All right, so you're talking about access, mm -hmm. um, but I just want to simplify it for the listeners. Um, how are they able to access the incentives or the benefits um, through the Jamaica Business Gateway? Is it as simple as just logging on to our website? It is just simple as that. So you just have to go on to www.jamaicabusinessgateway.com and there is a myriad of tabs and information um, pains that they can go to. There is a help desk so if you're uncertain and you're not sure where you're supposed to go that is there as well. Everything is broken down. When you click on the access incentives and go to the tourism we give you a myriad of the, how the process flow works. We advise you on what it is that you, who are you? You, you, because sometimes they're not sure, you know, where they fall, what category. So sometimes we give them information to say, okay, you fall in the accommodation subsector, but you're not a hotel because you're not this amount of rooms. So all of that information can be found on the website. There, are, There is also the option to be able to read on the others as well. You know, cannabis is there. So they have access to all of them and they're able to sit and read and go through the information first before they even reach out to others and apply on the website. website sounds exciting. And Shane, uh, same for you. Okay, so for us, um, just you know, following on my friend here, um, it actually explains the application process in quite detail. It's very detailed. Very detailed. And so, that's easy to understand. Easy to understand. Extremely simplified because the application forms are actually digitized mm -hmm. and they are explained as, for example, let us say that someone is a titled owner of land and therefore, because they are the owner, they don't need consent to use it. They won't even interface with the, with the site that requires the consent, it will just pass it. So they actually filter the information for you so that you are able to just focus and just to provide the information that is absolutely necessary to progress your application. You can also pay online. You can pay from the comfort in your own home. So you don't have to join the bank lines and not throw any shade on the bank, but sometimes the lines are not that short. So you can use a credit card, a debit card, and you can pay for our serve, for the application processing fee and other fees online. So that's a, we believe that's a very good thing for us and a very exciting time to be a part of this um, Jamaica Business Gateway. And um, any other common challenges that you you know suspect that your clients might be faced with that the uh, Jamaica Business Gateway might might actually um, assist with? 
I think it will relieve the challenges for the part of our subsector that is not necessarily very techy. Um, within the contract carriage um, sector, you find that they are not necessarily concerned with the business of the business, they're just concerned with the business. And so having the gateway be as simplified as it is makes it easier for them to be able to access that information that they need and just be able to enter the simple things of their name their number and not have to worry about oh i have to go through this person or go through that person they no longer have to worry about a third party they can do it themselves and and be comforted in the fact that they're doing it right right exactly um machine same for any other challenges that you think the jbg will uh, simplify Customer service. Customer service. <laughs> Very important. Yeah. Um, without the customers, it, we are nothing. Right. Mm -hmm. Right? That's true. So, through the portal, yourself could just log in. You have an issue with a specific thing. You send in your query. It goes directly to the person responsible for your specific thing. Yeah. And that person can respond back to you directly. Directly. Regarding to give you the answer for your specific thing. Mm -hmm. And we, leave, we believe that that immediacy in the communication that real-time communication factor is very important it's yeah. very important for customer service mm -hmm. it's very important for transparency it's very important for accountability yeah got it any exciting future plans um to of course promote increased awareness on everything that the uh, jamaica business gateway has to offer either for the ministry of tourism or for the cannabis licensing authority i mean because this is a this is a big deal but how we're going to now tell persons about it so where can they look out for you know this information so on the side of Ministry of Tourism, I think one of the things that we are, maybe it's a, a pro and a con, is that you really don't have to do a lot to inform the sector. Once one person hears, the other person will hear. They are that much in communication with each other. And I think knowing that there is now a system that works even better for them will increase it. But what we're doing is we are going through a staggered approach to ensuring that all of the current stakeholders that we have are on the gateway and that they feel comfortable, they know that it's reliable. So I think it they will encourage each mm -hmm. other to be able to join the platform and it will spread because they always want to know that they can do better and bigger business. Shane, for you as well? Well, in, in a similar fashion, our industry is extremely small and close in it. Right. So once something of this nature is talked, yeah, it just like spreads. It correct. catches on. Mm -hmm. But also, we plan to put our feet on the ground. We yeah. plan to go into the communities. A lot of our licensees are in you know, rural well, Jamaica. Jamaica. And we want to drum up some more business in the cannabis industry. So we'll definitely be out there showing our brand, advertising this, you know, this great new thing yeah. and encouraging persons to come along. We'll be looking forward to that. Definitely. Got it. And how does the Jamaica, um, in terms of compliance and standards, is there anything that you'd want your um, the listeners to, to who are interested or even part of your industry? Um, anything you'd like to say to them regarding, you know, compliance and, and standards? Especially for you, uh, Machine. Well, with regards to compliance and standards, um, what I'd want our listeners to know is that the intention of this is to make the application process as simple and as seamless as possible. The intention of it is also to ensure that persons are very much aware, acutely aware of what the, what the requirements are so they can remain compliant, they don't fall out of compliance. Mm -hmm. For example, their, my knowledge is that with regards to even certain documents, sometimes the police stop you and they are the ones who tell you that your fitness has expired because you're just not aware. In this type of system, all of those prompts will be going out to our, to our licensee so they will know when everything is expired, what they need to bring back to us without us having to engage them. So mm -hmm. it's very good for compliance. Right. Final take on Jamaica Business Gateway. What's your, if you could just describe it in two words, <laughs> from a business standpoint and for your clients? From a business standpoint, I think it is efficient and it is effective. Efficient and effective. A shame. I would also have to body. <laughs> very efficient. And effectiveness also saves money. Yeah. 
There you go. Shane is a business person. You can tell. It happens. It have to save money. It have to make sense. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Uh, of course, Tamar Henry, representing the Ministry of Tourism. Thank you so much for your thank input, you, uh, especially as it relates for the uh, to the to the productive input relief. Um, you know, through the Ministry of Tourism as well as the Jamaica Business Gateway. And Shane, thank you so much. Uh, Shane Williams, Cannabis Licensing Authority. And so essentially, all we've spoken about. Um, in summary, when it comes on to the Jamaica Business Gateway is it provides direct access to all the services and information that you need that simplifies your journey, the customer journey or the client right. journey to getting all the information that they need and just how different uh, ministries and entities communicate effectively with each other in a shorter amount of time. Yeah. Which means that we're just like a run, we're just yeah. do things, yeah. That's exactly, exactly. Yeah. All right, thank you so much, guys. And that is the end of um, this episode of a conversation where we are focusing on building a better business for Jamaica.